Marcus, I was going through the um, AFM Twitter and I just found this article that's 13 frequently used phrases that make you sound like a Hollywood rookie <laughs> by Stephanie Palmer. <laughs> and it's a funny article, but there, there's some really interesting stuff in here that I actually wouldn't know or have known that it would make someone sound like a rookie. So number one, 13 phrases to avoid. She writes, high concept. <laughs> and I'm just wondering what your thoughts are. I'm just doing, you know, because I, I know you'll have something interesting to say. She says, if your idea is high concept, it's obvious it's not. If it's not, saying it won't help. <sighs> um, we've had a lot of interest, which means <laughs> <laughs> to a decision maker, this is code for lots of people have read it, but none of them have liked it enough to get involved. Mm -hmm. um, with the right cast, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Everyone knows that, basically. <laughs> um, this is a very unique project, which means it's a red flag. If it's unique, you haven't done enough research to understand, understand the jo uh, genre. Excuse me. Uh. Um, there's another one that's good. Oh, it has. It's with a message, <laughs> meaning when you're highlighting that there is a message, this means that you're focused primarily on teaching the audience a lesson instead of telling a great story. So, uh, just just your thoughts on some of these. Oh, and wait, one last one, sorry. I've been working on this film for 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> she says, you're committed, okay, possibly inept. So we're having fun with it, but, but how much truth do you do here in some of this? And, and You know, I think, God bless everybody. Uh, you know, these articles, I take them all with a grain of salt because... I, no, there's no road. I mean, to say, you know, these things are going to make you look like is to indicate that, okay, these are the things that you do correctly. And if you do these things correctly, then things will go the right way. And there is no correct. The only correct is like someone writing you a check. And that can happen no matter what you say. You can say, this is a really unique story. And someone can say, I agree with you. And then they write you a check, which makes that completely null and void. You can say, we've had a lot of interest. And someone can say, well, let me look at it. I'm interested. And then they write a check, which makes that saying null and void. You can't say the right thing to the wrong person. I think that's the real only thing you can't say the right thing to the wrong person and you can't say the wrong thing to the right person and i think that means that if it's not gonna work for somebody you can't make it work for somebody you know i don't think how you say something if it's coming from a place of truth in you is gonna make the difference like if you've got an incredible script and you've got like a really good set of whatever you're supposed to have behind it, but you use one of these phrases, someone who really is in love with your project isn't gonna say, God, I love this script and he's got so much great energy and I really wanna work with this person, but he used a rookie term. Hmm, nah, I better not, because I used a rookie term. Nobody's gonna do that, you know what I mean? Like you either find the people who are your tribe, you find the people that dig what it is that you're looking to do, or you don't. And you know, in that point, you either decide, I'm just gonna keep looking, or you throw in the towel. But I don't think it comes down to say this or that, or I don't know, maybe it does. I, who knows, I don't know. But I just, I just think if you're coming from a real place and, and you're putting your best work out there, you just got to keep pushing until you find the right person, you know? <laughs>